I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, a wet pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open the box. All right, in the box you have a USB-C type cable and a keycap holder. So, let's unbox it. Shoo! Next, we're gonna do a keyboard sound test. It's a little bit deeper than it usually sounds, probably because of the microphone placement. But yeah, enjoy. And we'll also go ahead and just do all the colors reviews. So, this is the first lighting mode. Of course, please remember that with any of these, you have different lighting modes that you can press by pressing F, N, and period. And also keep in mind that you can turn down the brightness, up the brightness, down the speed, and up the speed. Just for a better view, I'm going to go ahead and raise the camera. So this is just a static color. And we're back to the beginning. Also, there are different functions that this keyboard has, so let's go ahead and go over all of them. Now, as you can see, there's little key legends under each one. So if you look at one, an exclamation mark right here, you have F1, and then you have these, and you have all the legends under here. You have question mark and all these little things with words. Now, if I were to go ahead and start typing something on the screen, and I pressed K, it wouldn't show up as the legend under it, which is page up. It would just show up as K. So how do I fix that? Well, if you press FN in the bottom right corner and control right here in the other corner, then it will switch to another mode, just like so. And now if I type I or any of these or even these, it will go to the legend that's under it. All you need to do to switch it back to the first mode is press the two buttons again. It also supports mobile connection if you have a Bluetooth version. I didn't buy the Bluetooth version. And then you also have these arrow legends. They're currently on right now, but if you just want to get the regular things without the arrows, you just press FN and enter. And now you won't have the arrows, you just have the normal things that are supposed to be there. Alt, control, whatever the frick this button is and question mark and backslash but what happens if you want to type question mark but you don't want to do the whole waiting blinking everything every time well no problem you just press fn shift and then question mark to get question mark but of course you can just press fn and the key to just get regular backslash that goes with all the other keys that have little legends under it and that goes with these up here on the top row. All in all, this keyboard is definitely worth its price, and uh, I enjoyed reviewing it. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>